You know, baking is hands down one of the funnest things to do with kids. It teaches skills like math, patience, and of course the art of cleaning up. Food Network Magazine is celebrating this in their new publication, The Big Fun Kids Baking Book. It is full of colorful, delicious recipes that you can whip up with your kids. Well, today we are doing a throwback and making whoopie pies with Food Network's Miley Carpenter. Well, Miley, I know we are making whoopie pies. So for those who've never heard of them or tried them, how do you describe them to people? I know whoopie pies are great. They're actually originally from Maine, but kids love them. And I will explain why, because they are they're part of us. We're very excited. We have our new cookbook out for the Oracle magazine. It's big, fun kids baking book. This was like basically my life the past year and a half because we were all stuck at home doing nothing but baking. <laughs> so now we have a book to sort of share the love. Um, and really, you know, the point of the book and this uh, applies to the whoopie pies for sure is that these recipes are designed so kids can do it themselves and that they can really customize their recipes because you know you have kids they want the things their way they want the flavors they like and the toppings they like and so a lot of the recipes in the book are kind of mixed and match do what you want um and that's what we're that's what we're doing with these so i love whoopie pies my kids love these because the funny thing about whoopie pies is they're called pies but they're in the cookie chapter and they're really more like a cake. <laughs> so they make no sense whatsoever. But the fun of whoopie pies when we're baking at home is that they're just, you can kind of do whatever you want with them. Once you have these baked and, you know, the older kids can do this part, but for younger kids, you can do this for them and then they can really take it from there. So the topping, I mean, the filling is just a basic frosting and you can make it any flavor you want. So throw in a flavor of jam, lemon curd, caramel really anything goes so i use a little strawberry jam in mine oh, it turns good and then what what kind of cookie are you making to the today or that you so, made in advance? so this is the whoopie pie it's really like i said it's kind of cake like it's like a okay. little mini cake they rise just a little bit and then when you sandwich them together it almost looks like a little burger filled with frosting <laughs> it's a Love magical it. thing and so, the filling where you can have a lot of fun with the and get creative Absolutely. It's just, you can, you can give the kids a basic white frosting and then let them, you know, give them a, a bar and they can just like put in whatever they want. And the fun of a whoopie pie is that you can put an obscene amount of frosting on it because that's what you're supposed to do. So the kids are like, oh my gosh, you really go nuts because you want it to ooze out the side. And then once you do that, you can add whatever little sprinkles or fun things you want to the outside. So we have mini chocolate chips. You could do pretzels. You could do coconut. Again, this is like, let the kids go nuts. You know, I'm doing rainbow sprinkles here because that's sort of a universal favorite. And then my other favorite kid party trick are candy melts, which is like, I mean, next level from sprinkles. These are so much fun to play with. They're they melt down and you can put them in a Ziploc bag and the kids can make any design they want. And this stuff hardens in minutes and then they can like eat their design. I'll just show you some examples. We use them as cup cupcake toppers. So you can see you could do a little initial or just some little colored brush strokes. These are really fun. And I've started, <laughs> I've started giving these to all the kids' friends as birthday gifts. You just like fill up a jar of candy melts and it's like a little, little baking kit for them. So that's, that's always a hit. Yeah, and I know you you can't show us all the recipes that and the book that you've made because your counter is only big enough. But do you have any <laughs> other recipes that you could tell us about that we can find? In the well, book? I've got a little something behind me. This like this is my kid's favorite chapter in the book are these um, fake out cakes. So they're cakes that look like other things, and we were very careful to not call for any special equipment. So this is stuff that most people have around the house. So this is. <sighs> Just a regular square nine inch cake, but we made it look like a little fried egg in a pan, like an egg in a hole. So it's like a square, you know, we cut it out to look like a slice of bread. And then this is just marshmallow fluff and um, a can, half of a canned peach. And it looks just like a little egg. So my kids always love sort of surprising their friends with these goofy fake out cakes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like th that this book, this big fun baking book that you have, it's not just the obvious. It goes beyond that and really gives kids an opportunity to explore and be creative. Do you have any tips for us to kind of keep our kids in the kitchen and baking as they get older? Well, I think a couple of things you want to make it fun, right? It has to be fun. It can't feel like work. But I, what I like most about it is that you're really kind of sneaking in these little math and science lessons, right? So you've got them in there and you've got all these sprinkles, but make them do the work, you know, make them measure the things, ask them to sort of figure out 
how many quarter cups is it going to take to make this cup? And so we, you know, I try to like sneak in these little STEM lessons to the kids while we're, while we're baking. And my other tip, and I think, I think some people make this mistake is to let them use the real tools. You know, you don't need like little kitty spatulas and kitty bowls, like break out the real stuff, get like a real, you know, real size sheet pans and let them let them do the work, teach them how to use the oven safely. So there are a lot of tips in this book. We wrote the recipes carefully to make sure that the kids would be safe, but that they would really start learning how to do like grown up tasks. So they want to feel at the end, like I did this, this is mine. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much to Miley. We've got all the fun recipes for the whoopie pies and even the cool fake toast cake. Just go to our website. There's so many fake cakes in the book. We tried our hand, our producer Susie did. She made this grilled cheese and tomato soup. It looks like that, but it's actually cake, pudding, and then fruit. Boom, so fun to bake from this book. Susie, great job.